Good morning, guys. Day number 16. I got a really early start today. Um, started hiking at 6.45. I haven't been hiking very long. I only needed my headlamp for like 10 minutes. Um, so, I wake up every morning between 4 and 5 a.m. cold. And I did again this morning at 4. And I laid there until left of 5-ish. And then played on my phone for a little bit. Then when I got closer to six, I said, all right, I'm getting up and getting ready. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. But let me tell you, these winds are so demoralizing. I think, so I've been out here for 16 days. And out of 16 days, <coughs> excuse me, I think I've had two or maybe three days. <clears throat> Excuse me, hold on. I need a drink. <clears throat> so sorry about that. <clears throat> Hopefully that's not. I had a tickle in my throat and couldn't stop coughing. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, I think I've had two, maybe three days without high winds since I've started the trail. And I'm talking 20 plus mile per hour winds. Maybe in the summertime that's not so bad. But when the temps are in the 30s, it's miserable. I mean, I have my puffy on and my rain jacket on and the gloves. And I'm going uphill and I'm still cold. But it is what it is. At least it's not rain every day. I guess I'd rather have the wind than the rain so I shouldn't complain. But tomorrow it is going to rain. Today I'm trying to get to, I think it's Double Spring Gap Shelter, I think. If I'm wrong, I'll put it below. It's like 16.4 miles, I believe. And uh, that puts me, I think, so roughly like two miles away from Clingman's Dome. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain. As of right now, they're staying starting around noon. So, my plan is to get up really early, not like I'm not already, and hike early in the morning and try to get the majority of my hiking day done before noon to avoid the rain. You know, in the summertime, it's fine to hike in the rain, but when it's cold outside and you're hiking in the rain, it's miserable. So try to avoid it if I can. Hopefully I'll catch a nice sunrise today and I'll show you guys. I think I figured why I was really sluggish yesterday as opposed to all the other days I've been on trail. I'm feeling a little sluggish this morning too. Um, I'm drinking electrolytes every day, so that's not the problem, but I think it's, I'm not eating enough food now. Uh, I, I know I'm not eating enough food for how many miles a day I'm doing. I'm, if I calculate it right, I try to do it in my head. I'm not good at math, but I think I'm eating anywhere between 1,500 and 2,000 calories a day. And when I'm doing like 15 plus miles, I don't think that's enough. But um, it, my main problem was the marina didn't really have enough for me to stock up with. Um, lunches and dinners were fine, but to get me between those, they didn't have enough snacks for me. Because um, with my braces, I can't eat certain things. So I was very, very limited. But I don't, I, there's nothing I can do until I can get to hot springs. But I can't wait to get to hot springs and shop at a Dollar General and be able to have more of a selection and load up on food. But that's my thoughts. <laughs> Just letting you know, oh, in my cab, yesterday I did some stretches and then I relaxed. Um, went to bed early 
and this morning it's feeling really good so far. So I'm going really slow, crossing my fingers. I did put some Motrin in my hip belt pocket though, just in case it starts to bother me. But hopefully I won't need it. I haven't had to take any Motrin yet on this trip. I have been feeling pretty good. So let's hope it stays that way. All right, we're at the junction for Boat Mountain Trail in the AT. And what does that mean? It means we're roughly one mile away from Rocky Top, which by the way, is my favorite place in the entire Smoky Mountains. I love it up there, so I'm super happy that I have a sunshine day, so I get to actually have a view again. But it's gonna be very, very windy at the top, so I probably will not stay very long. <laughs> to the top guys but this is what's behind me right to the top guys it's beautiful but really windy heading over there next that's uh thunderhead mountain over there Carry on if I can stand the wind. Little view through the trees. Super quick update on the fraud thing from the other day, in case anybody was curious. So if you remember I said that I couldn't change my password on the ship order or the ship account, but I was able to do a two-step verification for the login. So when you try to log in, it sends me an email with a code that you have to enter in. Well, last night at camp I had some reception and I checked my email twice yesterday. That person tried to access my account again. What an idiot. But it, it did tell me how to change my password. So I went ahead and did that. But I don't have any payment saved on there anyway. So they couldn't do anything. But just that way the idiot can't log into my account anymore. Almost to the shelter. Uh, Derek Knob and then I'm stopping for lunch. I may or may not go all the way to Double Spring like I planned because once I reach the shelter, it's still about another seven and a half miles. So I might stop the one before that, Sidler Bald. Um, I forgot how many miles that is, but I'm exhausted. So we'll see how I feel once I get to Sidler Bald. Uh, yeah, the Smokies, in my personal opinion, is definitely the hardest train we've done since Georgia. And I'm pooped. Absolutely pooped. <laughs> Whew. But I'm getting there, guys. Slowly but surely today. Right to the shelter. Nobody's here, so Whew. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. My lunch, tortilla, tuna, what's supposed to be mayonnaise, and bacon bits. I'm eating more snacks than I should, but I'm hungry, and this is 430 calories in it. Chocolate pie, baby. By the way, if you want a close-up to see what some of these wildflowers look like, there they are. There's thousands and thousands of them. They're everywhere. Beautiful. Okay, I have no idea if you can see this or not, which is why I haven't done it on camera. But all my knuckles, all around this area, here, I have blisters everywhere. And I don't know if you can see right... Oh, God, I can't use my two hands. My skin is really tight and it's swelling up. I've applied sunscreen twice today. But my hands are in a lot of pain. And uh, 
they're definitely not getting any better. I'm worried that I might end up having to make an urgent care visit. But when I get to Hot Springs, my sister sent me those sun gloves. And I'm go at Dollar General, I'm going to pick up some first aid stuff like burn cream, aloe, whatever I can find. And start using that. And hopefully, hopefully it'll heal up. Just left Silo's bald shelter. 1.7 to the next one. Just stopped off and got water. Now climbing up to Silo's bald. Hopefully there'll be pretty view from the top. And this next shelter sounds like it's going to be so packed. I think everybody is going to it. Just trying to get as close to Klingman's Dome as possible. I guess. I know that's what I'm trying to do. So it's going to be very, very busy, I'm sure. Well, there was no view on top of Silo's Bald. I'm uh, coming down from it now. But I want to mention too, when I was back at that shelter, this one lady gave me burn gel. It's a little like travel size packet. And so I put some on, it felt so good. And I saved the rest in the Ziploc baggie. Um, hopefully it doesn't get smushed and I can use it again tomorrow, hopefully, or tonight even, because, God, I need some burn gel so bad. Whew! But, I'm um, just heading, like I said, to Double Spring Gap Shelter now. God, look at these views. It's amazing. Um, not sure what I'm doing tomorrow, because I really want to get up in the dark and get to hiking while it's dark. Because I really would love to get to uh, Ice Water Spring Shelter where I'm heading. Um, but hold on, let's see here. That's Walt's Bridge Trail. That police trail goes this way. Okay. Um, I'd really like to get to Ice Water Spring Shelter, which is where I'm planning on going tomorrow before or by noon. I'd love to get there before it starts raining. And hopefully get a shelter spot. I don't know, but it seems like everybody's pretty much on the same track right now as far as shelters. So might end up being full there too. Uh, also quick mention. So um, a little while after lunch, today has not been a bad day at all. It's just been tough. But I told myself I wouldn't listen to music unless I was having a bad day. But I decided I needed some motivation and to get me up these hills. And so I popped in an earbud and been jamming out some music. And my God, it gave me some extra pep in my step today. So that was awesome. And now I'm almost there. Can't believe it. I was here. I was thinking when I got to that first shelter, I was thinking, am I going to even make it to the next one, let alone to the third one? But now I just passed the next one and I'm on my way to the third. And I just like to say, thank you, music. <laughs> Another little view. I love this part of the AT3 Smokies. It turns into a beautiful pine forest. Just moss and pine trees. It's so pretty. All right, made it to the shelter for the night. I am sleeping in the shelter tonight to make it easy for me to get up in the morning. And got a full house down here and the upper bunk's got some people up there too. Alright, so I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good night.